everybody, it's Mama J. And Wingles the Elf. We are here with day four of our Christmas Vlogmas. Right? Yep. How many days now? 20. Christmas. 20. Very good, Mr. Wingles. Um, this is Noah. He is very intrigued with the Charlie Brown Christmas tree. You're going to go on the naughty so list. So that will go into one of our conversations of when do you put your Christmas tree up? And how do you put your Christmas tree up if you have cats? <laughs> He's trying to eat the tree. Don't eat the tree. What list is Noah on? Naughty because he ate the tree. Naughty because he ate the tree. So guys, I'm just curious, for Christmas, when do you start putting your Christmas tree up? I know when Spectre was a child, we put the tree up pretty early, like towards the beginning of December. Now I'm lucky if I can get my tree up the week of Christmas. When does Santa put his tree up? December 26th, we get a new one and it's up all year long. Oh, wow. Wow. That's a long time to leave a tree up. Well, it's Christmas all the time in the North Pole. That is true. That is true. I have been to the North Pole. Actually went there and seen Santa Claus. Whole family did. It was a lot of fun. It was when uh, we spent two weeks driving around Alaska. Yep. So were you there when we were there? I don't remember you. I was in the back. You were in the back? Yeah. Were you working hard? Hardly working. Probably. Anyways, I'm just curious when everybody decides to put their tree up. I know some people have talked about putting their tree up on November 1st. I couldn't even imagine putting my tree up for two months. And it would have to be an artificial tree. Because I don't think a live tree would live two months, would it? Yep. Would it? You have to take good care of it. And where are you going to get a live tree on November 1st? The woods. Okay, we live in California. We get our trees out of the grocery store parking lot. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, we go to the grocery store parking lot if you want to buy a live tree. Or the Home Depot parking lot. You know? Yeah, we all get our trees ourselves. Wow. And I know that um, since having cats and house cats that don't go outside, they're very intrigued by the trees. Very intrigued. I have one that likes to chew on the lights. I have one that would knock the ornaments off and put them in his water bowl. And then I have a little one who doesn't really eat. Well, she's not little. She's about four years old now, but she doesn't even really know what a Christmas tree is because I avoid putting them up due to the other cats. So this is our tree. It was supplied to us by Mr. Charlie Brown himself. And Lucy brought me over this one little ornament. So this is the tree that we choose to put up. Well, at least you only have to worry about cats. In yeah. the North Pole, we have to worry about polar bears and the reindeer. Yeah? What do they do? Uh, well, the reindeer eat all the leaves, and then it leaves it bare, wow. and the polar bears just knock them over. Well, and that's not it. fun. That's not fun. Well, then... When you go to get your tree, just grab one that the polar bear already knocked over. It does make it easier. Yeah, see? But, you know, I think trees are a wonderful thing. Some people put up one tree. I know that I used to know a lady that put up four trees. She had one in every room. Um, I think a tree, some people decorate the tree as a family. You know, they put all the ornaments on together. I remember as a child that... Um, I would help my grandmother every year decorate her tree, but I was an only grandchild on that side of the family. So I helped my grandmother every year with the tree decorating. And, you know, now I worry about putting ornaments up and I worry what's going to happen when I have to leave the house. So up until the day before Christmas, we usually use this tree and then Christmas Eve, sometimes we'll put up the real tree so that we have a real tree Christmas morning. <laughs> you know, that? I mean, I don't know. Um, do you have a tradition on what you guys do with your tree or you just put it up every year? Uh, well, we put it up and we spend about four days decorating. Four days? 
Well, most elves are shorter than me. <laughs> Lord help me. That's true, so it probably would take some time um, to decorate the tree. When you gotta use ladders or stand on people's shoulders or hang from the ceiling or whatever y'all do. We usually st stack up. <laughs> all right, so that's pretty awesome. Um, all right, so let's uh, take a look at what we got in our advent calendars for today. Okay. All right, so you want to go first and uh, see what anime Dragon Ball you got in this yep. day four. So on the first day we had Goku, second day was Gohan, third day was Piccolo. And day four, there's a green bag. Oh. oh, and we have Vegeta as the great ape. That's pretty He's awesome. on the naughty list. Is he? Yeah. Oh. I like Vegeta. Maybe he's on the naughty list because there's 9,999 Vegeta Funko Pops. Well, it's better than the 20,000 Dwight Pops that That's are coming true. out. All right, so then for us over here, we had the first three days, which was Sully, Mike, and the Monster Inc. sticker. And on day four, oh, guess what I found? You found Nemo. Wow, these are in there pretty tight. I found Nemo. So my question would be to everybody, what do you think tomorrow's mini mystery will be? Answer down below. I don't think it's Wingles. I don't think it's Wingles either, but there's his little fin, his big fin, for him to swim. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool. So, we'll see what we get tomorrow. That's um, really cute. I love Finding Nemo. I like Dory. Yeah. I'm hoping tomorrow's Dory. Could I be. really hope. <laughs> but you never know. Could be the father, could be one of the sharks, could be the little one that inked on himself all the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, so mini mystery. Uh, my turn? Yep. All right, let's see that big old Christmas bag of mini mysteries. And I have a Dragon Ball one. And this is a bag clip. So these are your options. Looks like there's a chase. There's actually two chases. One's round, so I'm assuming that's a Dragon Ball. Um, I think I want... Who's that? It's a Cyberman. Oh, I don't know who that is. Vegeta and Nappa plant them in the ground and then they blew up Yamcha and killed him. That must be after I stopped watching Goku. Nope. That was in the very beginning. Really? Yep. I right after thought. about it. You gotta remember, I started watching Goku when Spectre was like, I don't know, seven, eight, if not younger. And he has a little speck running around. I want Great Ape Gohan. Which one would you like? Probably Piccolo or regular Gohan. Okay. So, let's open it up and see what we got. Spectre told me to be careful when she has a knife. You're not funny. Alright. And I got Krillin. So we didn't get the one that either one of us wanted. But we got Krillin. It's funny because the back of their heads are flat. Look. <laughs> but that's really cool. So that's really cool. Yeah. And it clips onto your bag, which is nice. So that's cool. Do you like that, Wingles? Yeah, it's pretty cool. 
You know what? You can have that one. Like I have this one? Yeah. It's cool. I don't know if I can stick it on my hat. <laughs> I don't know that I would try to stick it on my hat, Mr. Wingles. Did you get it? No, it's a little too... Yeah, I don't think it's going to work. Oh, yeah, look at there. You got a Krillin hanging from your head. I'm afraid to move my head too much. <laughs> All right, so again, guys, let us know when you put up your tree. Do you put it up early? Do you put it up closer to Christmas? Uh, or all year long. Or all year long. I mean, let us know. We're interested. You know? Like I said, I, I used to love decorating the tree. Now I have a Charlie Brown tree. I think that's too heavy. Oh. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next Vlogmas. Bye.